she and here she is was that worth waiting for people describe you as a cross between joan rivers and don rickles they did name the people well see bill you're talking no they did that's a compliment it's a very nice compliment just to be mentioned in the same breath i take it thank you pudgy what an unusual name i didn't do hitch kicks over tush you want to hear what i almost called you do you know what i almost walked in calling you mr tush okay in fact that's what they told me when they first said your name they did they went you're going to want to say but it's tush okay so what were you saying bill it's an unusual name yeah pudgy is it like a nickname or a family name keeps grabbing me um it's a it's a nickname my father gave me the name when i was a little baby because I had chubby cheeks and the make a man say keep your head up so the lines look good um, I had chubby cheeks and he said let's call her pudgy and the name stuck until I until today 20 years later so like all through high school and dating and everything else and they called high everybody school called I you didn't pudgy. date a lot you didn't no mostly through high school I was alone and um, poor pudgy <laughs> I know I am trying to like this man <laughs> um, no and I was just and it just stuck and then when I went into comedy they said why don't you use the name Pudgy everyone called me that at home I never wanted kids to know it was my real name my friends and my dad used to say hey Pudgy you know and I'd say don't call me that in front of my friends now I don't like people to know my real name what is it oh, Frank Stallone <laughs> no it's uh it's Beverly Beverly well that's, not, that's a nice name that's I know a bad name. now I like no that's Beverly not bad. Pudgy that's not a bad name it's Beverly Stallone though oh Beverly <laughs> Pudgy Stallone I'm surprised, surprised. <laughs> no that's not too bad I but I like Pudgy better now look at uh BB's got a neat name oh listen I hated my name I was BB gun BB shot when I was kid is it B period B like no, it's B I B I oh bye bye like, no, B I got that too. Okay. Bye bye. Boo boo, bye bye. BB Yang? <laughs> what is that? BB Baby. BB Yana. BB Yana. Okay, the right planer over there. Let's throw Tush around again. I like no, that. Want <laughs> you? you I mean, no, if you take, I can tell you this, but I have to tell you this off the air. If you take the letters of Bill Tush and rearrange it, it spells a great word. <laughs> but I'll do that one now. now it's, 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 we'll sit here for 15 minutes thinking about that. Okay. We'll just move along and talk about your daughter. Hmm. What is her name? Melissa Ann. I call her Porky. No, I, no, no, I don't. I don't. I figured what's good for the goose. Um, no, it's Melissa Ann. She's four months old, and I just took her off my breasts. A uh, breastfeeding. I was breastfeeding her in. It's obvious I quit. <laughs> and um, although, well, you couldn't feed either, BB. <laughs> oh, I did. Honey. No, but you right know. on a bottle for your children. No, and uh, she's on formula now, and she's her first job on the road, first time on the road. And we have a three and a half year old son we travel with also. What is his name? Michael Jr. I think the father's name was Michael, so I went with Michael Jr. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Michael Sr. And um, and the three of us, four of us, we get in the van and we drive cross country, whatever we have to do. We're from, base ourselves in Chicago, and we came to California. And once in a while, my husband says, oh, we have a one-nighter in New York, and we jump in the van. You drive all these places. I know, and now my, my poor son, three and a half years old, we drove by a Howard Johnson's yesterday. Mommy, we live there. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Holiday Inns, wherever he sees some motels. We don't, you know, we don't stay at the Hilton, so we pour in at four in the morning. So. Well, dummy, that's a lot of travel. I know, but it's easier than, we couldn't fly with a playpen and, uh, yeah. Now, you know, bottles and things. It's just too hard to so fly So did you for drive us. from Chicago to here? Right, yeah. How long does that take? That took us four days, and my husband and I didn't talk for three and a half. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, it's a fun trip. I mean, we're, we're, not, the, we're not the Brady Bunch when we travel. We don't say, no. okay, now 99 bottles of beer. We don't do that. <laughs> we do not do that. I sit there and I go, oh, God, go to sleep, get tired. I'm giving the baby aspirin's going now she'll doze but you you know as soon as you get those silent moments it's it's a trip mm -hmm. the kids are fairly good my son's very well adjusted when we get into a car and we just go to a store you know he sits there i'll wait he's used to 10 12 hours in the van that's you know, great because to anybody that has kids knows the traveling with yeah. kids is terrible yeah although my little girl's adjusted now real i mean she's was great in the van she barely cried and i was really um I told her some of my jokes, she went to sleep. <laughs> it all worked. It all worked. Now, you're going to be working here in town is the reason why. I mean, you just yes. didn't drive down to do our show alone. I wanted Although to tell I... you about the baby, <laughs> um, our baby. And um, <laughs> Frank was here. He called. I said, yeah, I'll be down. It's so there. act interested. In the van. Yes. In the van. You're all going out in the van. Is that van your pretty girl sitting right over there? Who, me? No, I'm... Uh, is no. that the bow wow in the black dress? I want to know. Okay, here we go. No, it's starting. Beautiful. Yes, she's she beautiful. I mean, I'm just flirting, but I'm doing it off as a joke. I, she's not laughing. Is she's the camera kind of on? Getting, oh, oh, getting jealous. 
Okay. This isn't a commercial, Frank. Sit up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> just, just kidding. Baby, you really run at the mouth. <laughs> I feel like I'm taking Do you ever, get, you ever get in get trouble when you were, you know, you do this with the audience. Yes. Right? In she's fun. great. She's in like, fun. You just, saw her. Oh, I've seen her. Oh, she's great. Huh? Now, could I say something to you? One time in New York, whether you, you're, um, everyone, Sylvester Stallone is coming to the show. I sat there, I did the show in New York. There was a man sitting there with eight other people, Sylvester Stallone, as I stand here, went through, they had New York Post, New York Daily News, come down, take pictures in the dressing room, Sylvester Stallone. It was a double, it was one oh, of those no. look-alikes. Oh. He did the whole thing. Was he good? He signed his name to the chat. Maybe it, <laughs> yes. Was he good? Um, Maybe it's how he got in the I've got to tell you something, when he got in the dressing room, all of a sudden the pair man ran back, and my husband shook his hand, and I'm saying, it's so nice to me, and I put my hand in his body, and it was like mush, <laughs> and I went, this isn't Sylvester Stone. He, he was kind of small, then you realized up close, his face was identical. That's incredible. Identical. And they, um, they put, ran the picture anyway, as a lookalike, they said they pulled a cork around Pudgy, uh, yeah. and it was Sylvester, I do believe they that. Actually, was, it, was it meant to be just as a joke, or were they trying to pull a scam? No, he, tri he carried the whole scene off, Sylvester oh. came in a limo. They gave him star treatment and everything. Oh and I looked at the people with him and I thought, oh, really? Th they yeah. almost gave it away, right. Really? And Wunger had a dress on like that. And I went, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> no. You like this, huh? No, no cornies. Yeah, yeah and it was, I just thought it was funny and that, that it was just that you're, here we are and here your brother. Well, you I'm know, not he. I'm, I know you're not, but I thought it was funny that... I'll loosen up, Frank. Okay. It was a joke. I just thought it was similar that um, that it happened. Great story. Yeah. That's Whoever funny. paid the tab? Um, Sylvester, whoever he was, Mr. X. Mr. Uh, loads of money he spent too. Uh, but do you seriously that. when you get in, when you get out there and do stuff with the audience like you do? Did you ever get in trouble? Have, um, once in a while we were talking backstage and they were talking about like a man said he was he had, doesn't have a job. I said, well, why aren't you working? He said. I'm disabled and he looked perfectly fine. And I said, come on, what's wrong? And he said, he came out with this most bitter. He said, well, I'll tell you the truth. I was coming home, I was hit by a drunk driver. And here I'm sitting in a club where everyone's drinking and I'm going, that's it, stay happy, drink everyone. <laughs> and he was real bitter. So I had to walk Gee. around the rest of the show trying to find a job for this guy because he said, and the manager of the restaurant won't hire me back. And I said, um, okay, I thought it was the makeup, but he said, no, he just <laughs> couldn't get the job back. So. But once in a while you get a curve, but generally they play with you and they understand that it's a joke. Uh -huh. Tell your girl. Uh, <laughs> tell her we are not going home tonight. You're going to be appearing here in town, not at the comedy store this time. No, at time. the Studio One, oh. the back lot. You go. Okay. All right. Will no, you, have I, will I, you, I will go. Come? Yeah. Okay. You won't pick on me. If you don't dress like that, I will. <laughs> okay. All right. I promise. <laughs> Bebe, come along, okay? Please? I will, honey. All I right. Will. Wear that dress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you can pick on me some And I'll see you Friday. Okay, back live. And thank you all no. for being with us. Thank you, Pat. Thank you nice for having me, Bill. Nice okay, to meet thank you. Thank you. See you again. Frank, thank you. Thank you, Bill. Give our best to the family. Okay. Maybe yeah, we'll, we'll see you in the Hamptons. Thanks. Oh, you bet. I mean, in the show, the Hamptons. Not actually. They won't <laughs> let me in the Hamptons. <laughs> Millie Perkins, when we come back, stay with us.